In the nationwide protests over George Floyd's death, one city stands out. Newark, New Jersey was nearly burned to the ground during civil rights era riots 53 years ago. But last week, thousands spilled into the streets and everyone, the police, the community and young people, all worked together to keep the peace. Michelle Miller spoke to Newark's mayor before she went to Houston to cover Floyd's funeral. Michelle, good morning again. Good morning. Well, Raz Baraka was elected mayor of Newark in 2014 and has been fighting to reform the city's police department ever since. Crime in Newark is down. So are payouts for police brutality cases. The mayor told us those accomplishments weren't his work alone. The residents of this city are proud. Raz Baraka is the mayor of Newark, New Jersey's largest city. In mask and gloves, he's leading his hometown out of the COVID pandemic. And now he's navigating this national reckoning on race. Five days after the death of George Floyd, more than 10,000 people poured into the streets. But unlike other cities, Newark suffered no fires, no looting either. <laughs> What you can find on the streets of Newark, dancing. Our kids singing in the street is enough to drive the, the white supremacist mad. When do we want it? Justice! When do we want it? Now! By the massive protest in, Newark police did not make a single arrest. How did that happen? The police showed incredible restraint during the march and, and during the evening. Four years ago, the city of Newark negotiated an agreement with the Department of Justice to reform its police department. Our officers are, 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 are trained differently now. They have, uh, you know, all kinds of sensitivity training, de-escalation training. This is a black city for the most part. It is a city that has seen rebellion, unrest, disappointment in the past. So right now, our police department is, ma is majority minority. So the majority of our police officers are black and brown. Uh, many of them now come from the city of Newark. We made a concerted and deliberate effort to do that. All right, everything's OK. Just checking on you, making sure everything's all right. Complaints against Newark police are down more than 70 percent. And a show of how closely the mayor works with his cops, last week, Mayor Baraka went with his gut and said, let us all take a knee. The police chief said his side so followed suit. Family. Some folks say taking a knee is a sign of weakness. You say? Thank you. I say it's a sign of strength. I think it takes a lot of strength to restrain yourself, right? It takes a lot of strength to discipline yourself. There's something about that that people need to understand. George! Community organizer Larry Ham spearheaded the Newark protest. George! working closely with Mayor Baraka. We found him this past weekend in neighboring Montclair. We have to deconstruct and reconstruct policing as we know it in the United States. Your biggest roadblock. The police unions, unless they know that if they murder a man, they're going to be charged, they're going to be prosecuted. When they know that, then they'll be hesitant about taking someone's life like George Floyd's life was taken. We haven't had any riots. I'm shocked. I predict their riots for this city. College student Davion Johnson told us that he attended the protest to fight injustice, but that would only come by keeping the peace. Only reason I'm not radical right now, throwing trash cans at windows and walling, is because I'm, I understand. I understand that's not the way to go. I understand history. We can't be taking this violent direction. It makes no sense. It's a means to an end. They did it. They held the line. My hat's off to them. Where do you go from here? Two months from now, you're not going to be as angry as you were, as you are today, right? But your commitment, your love of community, of humanity, is enduring. And two months from now, those emotions will remain. In fact, over time, love gets stronger. You really believe that? I absolutely know it. It's worth remembering that during protests back in 1967, Mayor Baraka's father was severely beaten by a police officer. And a bit of news, the mayor announced just yesterday that he is reallocating about $12 million of the police budget to anti-violence programs. Gail? Boy, Michelle, it looks like uh, many cities could take some notes from Mayor Baraka. The scene that you showed with the mayor and all the police officers that we saw kneeling down, 
was very, very powerful to see. And bravo to young Devion, too, who said, you got to know your history. And something else Devion said to me that is striking me that a lot, he is asking young people, people of all ages and stripes, to vote in November for everyone yes. on the ballot. Yes. Yes, agree, agree, agree. And one other thing I noticed, listen, you never go wrong with an electric slide and the Cupid shuffle. I've been known to trample little children to get to the dance floor to do that. It just makes you feel good no matter where you are. Uh, the picture is in don't my mind. Don't act like, Michelle, you don't I know what it. that is. <laughs> yeah. Yes, don't act like don't you haven't been on the floor doing now. the electric shuffle. <laughs> Michelle Miller, thank you very much.